Romans 12 and 2 simply says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So in order for your change to come, you have to change your way of thinking. Welcome back to Be The Ram Live webinar number 15. This is your host, Anthony McKissick Sr., Elder McKissick, Coach Mac. I'm all those people in one. I just thank you for tuning in and staying consistent with me and helping me grow through this ministry. If you see my face, it's orange and blue. You know what happened this weekend. My Auburn Tigers just rolled through uh, those Alabama Crimson Babies, and I'm here to celebrate. I'm excited. I'm, uh, I'm just so blessed to be a part of such a fan base that that all we do is win, baby, and you know what we're going to do. So we're we just going to start off with a small prayer. God, thank you for what you've already done. Thank you for allowing us to walk into those blessings. In your marvelous name, amen. As I said, we've been gone for 16 weeks strong. This is Be The Ram Live webinar number 15. If you don't understand what being the Ram is, I'll give you a little short summary. When Abraham and Isaac went to the mountain, uh, Isaac knew that something was going to happen. He knew that a sacrifice was going to be made, but he didn't see any lamb. He didn't see any sheep. He said, uh, basically, Dad, hey, <laughs> where's the sacrifice? And uh, Abraham told him, God will provide. And when they got on top of that mountain, right before he uh, struck his son, there was a ram in the bush. That ram is what saved Isaac's life. So what we're doing here is we're being the ram. We're being that person who saves another person's life. That is what being the ram is. So if you ever see that hashtag, be the ram, they got it here. It started here with us. Be the ram live. What I want you to do is subscribe to this channel. I want you to share this post and I want you to comment. Viewership has been down, but I'm going to stay faithful. I'm going to stay consistent. I'm going to continue to do what God has called me to do. All right. So our scripture, Jeremiah 17 and 8. They will be strong like trees planted near a stream that sends out roots in, into the water. They have nothing to fear when days get hot. The title of this webinar, Be the Ram Live, number 15, is Do It for the Vine. I know what you're thinking. No, I ain't going to do it. Do it for the vine. No, I ain't going to do it. Do it for the vine. I'm not going to do it. Yes, you will do it. You'll do it for the vine when you find out what doing it for the vine means. What do I mean when I say do it for the vine? I'm not talking about the little guy or the little thing that we had trending a couple years ago. Do it for the vine. I ain't going to do it. No, it's not that. It is something different. When we talk about being planted as a tree by roots, think about yourself as, as branches of Christ. We're all children of God and we should be branches. So we should spread out our arms and cover people. You know, if, if you go by a tree and you need shade, you're not a part of that tree. But that, sh that tree provides shade for you. That tree provides fruit. That tree does everything. And that fruit hangs off of that branch. And uh, we're all branches of Christ. You know, when you're out of your job, when you're on your respective playing fields, when you're coaching, when you're teaching, whatever it is that you're doing, you're a branch and you should represent Christ in everything that you do. A uh, branch of Christ, you should be, sometimes you're the only branch of Christ that people will ever see. So a lot of times as branches, we sometimes forget about the vine. The vine is Christ himself, God, and the Christianity, the lifestyle that we're living. That is the vine. When I say do it for the vine, I mean do it for Christ. Do it for God. Don't do it for the fruit. The fruit is the, you know, the reward, the, the, the getting your name in the paper, the having your name called all the time. That is doing it for the fruit. Don't do it for the fruit. Do it for the vine. You know, the thing about being a fruit. If you want to be a fruit, fruit withers up. Fruit is eating and uh, fruit is what people see. Sometimes people only see the fruit. They don't, re they don't recognize that the vine is in their face the whole time. So what I want you to do is do your best to 
be the branch and do it for the vine only. I'm going to give you five characteristics of people who do it for the vine. The first one is they don't look for rewards. You want to be this person. You don't want to be the guy that or gal that does something and right when you do it, you start looking for the, you know, what's in it for me, the what's in it for me factor. You don't want to be that person, that guy or that gal. You know, you want to do what you do because that's what you do. If the person that you're working with or the person that you're connected to and you're trying to figure out if they're doing it for the vine, or if they're doing it for the fruit, if they do something for you and immediately they say, all right, well, all right, here's your bill. I need you to pay me. You know that they're doing it for the fruit. They're not doing it for the vine. When you're doing it for Christ, you don't always look to get something in return right away. Now, God is going to reward you in due time, but you don't do it necessarily for the reward. Your reward is coming from heaven above. Number two, your why is more important than your what. Why you're doing it is way more important than what you're actually doing. When you do it for the vine, when you do it for God, when you do it for Christ, why you're doing it? You know, when you're uh, in that relationship and you're in that marriage and things are getting hard and you're saying, you know what, I'm not staying with you because it's fun. I'm not staying with you because it's all good. I'm staying with you because of the why. The why is because this is the person that God has ordained me to be a part of. This is the person that uh, I know there's so many blessings that are attached to this marriage, this relationship, this ministry. That is why I'm doing it. The reason I'm doing this webinar is not because I have a million viewers, because I don't. My why is way more important than my what. Why is because God told me this is what I want you to do in this time of this period. Number three, uh, a person who does it for the vine is a very committed person. You can look to them to be on their posts. You don't have to tell them to do what they do. They're going to do it. This person is, uh, they show a level of commitment that is unmatched. These are the people that you know, you know they're going to be there. You have that person at work that they're not going to call out sick. You know that that parent, you know, if you're young, you know, you got your mom or your dad, you know they're going to be there to pick you up no matter what. They're not going to make up excuses. They're going to be at your games whether you're the star on the team or you're the, you're, you're the water boy. This person is committed. The person who does it for the vine, they are very committed. You can depend on them. You can count on them. You want to be a person that's dependable. You want to be someone that people can count on. That's how you do it for the vine. Number four, they are not attention seekers. If you're doing it for the vine, you're not doing it to get attention. There's a lot of people that are doing it for the vine, and they're, uh, you never know that they're doing it. When you look at a tree, if you look behind me, uh, these beautiful trees, what you see is the colors. So those colors is what you say, oh, the tree is beautiful, not because of the branches, not because of the vines, because of the colors. So if you are doing it for the vine, you're not out here to get seen. Because if you are, you know what? If you're seen in public, when you shrivel up, they're going to see you in public too. The thing about being the branch, you know, the fruits fall off. They wither when the heat comes. You know, if they're not, there's not enough water going through. The vine is going to get theirs. And the next thing connected to it, which is the branches, they're going to get theirs. But if there's not enough of the fruit, the fruit falls off and dies. But the branches still remain. The last thing. They are continually reinventing themselves, or at least you think they are. And that's the same thing with the, uh, the seasons coming on. The, the leaves are going to fall off, but those branches are going to be there. They're getting bigger, and they're getting better, and they may even produce a different form of fruit. You know, 100 years from now, if they don't chop this tree down, it's still going to be here. I'm probably not going to live to be 135 years old, 140 years old, but that tree can stay, and that tree always reinvents itself. It stays around, and that's something about being the vine or doing it for the vine. When you do it for the vine, these people seem to always like, wow, I thought Charlie Wilson was done, or I thought that... Uh, you know, Kirk Franklin, he hit stomp and all of a sudden he comes up with a new song 20 years or 10 years, might not 20, but 10 years later. And there's another hit. They just always seem to be in demand. And I tell you, when when you do things for God, he'll keep you in demand. He'll keep you. Uh, uh, he'll keep you needed. He'll keep people always calling and reaching for you when it's your time. So what I really want you to take away from this is that do it for the vine. No, yes, do it. Do it for the vine. Don't do it for the fruit. 
Don't be the kind of person that you're always looking for a reward. Be consistent in what you do. Uh, don't look for rewards. Understand that your why is more important than your what. Be committed. Don't be an attention seeker. And continuously look to reinvent yourself. Always stay hot. And if you stay with God, you're going to be hot. Because God is a superhero. And Jesus is, you know, he is the man. And if you stay connected to the man, you will always be the man. You don't want to be a fruit. Although a fruit looks good, you are too far departed from uh, God, if I say the, the vine. You know, the branches are connected to the vine. The vine is connected to the ground. But the fruit, the fruit is so far away that the fruit is dependent upon everyone else. You don't want to be the person that's dependent upon everything else. You got to get this thing for yourself. I pray blessings and favor over you during this week. Please share, sub, and subscribe. Love you in Jesus' name. I'm out. You've been so good to me All I want to do is worship Because you've given